Sabna family, it's time to pray. And we've been offering a challenge in our, t in our prayer time about becoming, uh, becoming who God would have you to become in this season. We've already looked at the fact that in order for us to become, in order for us to grow, we've got to be intentional. I want to go back to that same text in Proverbs chapter six and share another thought that we ought to expect to become. We ought to expect to become. I want to share a formula or an equation of how you and I can become or grow uh, from the word of God. And then just remind us of some things and then we'll pray together. Proverbs chapter six, verses six through eight. Go to the ant, O sluggard, observe her ways and be wise, which having no chief officer or ruler prepares her food in the summer and gathers her provisions in the harvest. This text again is a reminder of the notion of becoming. We're talking about our ability to grow, how we can seize those things that we dream about, seize those things that we have ambition about, really become all of who God would have us to be. And here's the thing that we need to remember, that there's nothing in life that's worth having that comes easy or overnight. So we shouldn't expect easy, but we should expect to become. There's a formula that we read in the idea of becoming or being successful in the word of God. And it's all throughout. I challenge you to go and take a look at it. Even God himself principally used the same formula. And let me give you the formula. Preparation plus attitude plus opportunity plus action equals becoming. Preparation plus attitude plus opportunity plus action equals becoming. Notice them individually. Preparation is the first part of you and I becoming who God would have us to be. You've got to prepare to grow. Everything that's worth having and doing in this world comes with a fundamental notion of preparing to step into that successful orient. Even God, when he made the world, principally speaking or practically speaking, God prepared by making wisdom first, then he created the rest of the world. And preparation is necessary from a practical standpoint. Preparation is necessary from a providential standpoint. You got to start seeing how God is putting different pieces together in your life for you to become who God would have you to be. He not only helps us practically and helps us providentially, but spiritually. Spiritually, you need to be prepared. You need to know your God. You need to know yourself. You need to walk with God in a way that allows you to be the individual you want to be. And then not only that, even mentally, you got to have the right components in your spirit. And that helps you with the second thing. When you've done your part by way of preparation, it's going to bless you with your attitude. Your attitude probably is the most important thing with your momentum. Why? Because your attitude is where you seize the, the notion of reflecting on who your God is. And when you've got the right understanding of who God is and who's in control and who's really over your life, then you start realizing that there's not anything in this world that God has gifted me to do that I can't do. So I reflect on who God is. I remember what God has brought me through. And then I am reinforced in a moment by moment. The reason why I have the drive that I have, the reason why I continue to keep pushing, the reason why I will smile in the face of adversity, the reason why you won't allow negative people to steal your joy is because you're reinforced with the right attitude as you remember and you reflect on who your God is. But then remember that third component. Not only do you need to prepare and not only do you need to have the right attitude, but then you've got to make sure that when opportunity comes that you don't allow it to sit and become uh, obsolete or that you don't allow it to sit and just grow, grow, grow mundane. An open door of opportunity is meant for you and I to seize it. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3, there's a time for everything. And so when God opens a door, when God opens a stage for you, when he gives you many ways to go, if you've got the right attitude and you've prepared to do it, that's your time for you to step in and seize it. Opportunities are there for you to make the most of. Here's the thing. If you're not a good steward of the opportunities that God will give you, God will not continue to give opportunities for you to flourish. God will never go where he's not welcome, nor will he continue to provide with, with, with something that has been squandered. So make the most of your opportunity. We've got to prepare. You've got to have the right attitude. You've got to seize the opportunity. But then number four, number four is where it all comes together. That's the kinetic aspect of what we do. You've got to take some action. 
Can't just think about it. Can't just pray about it. Can't just muse over it. You can't just hope for it. You've got to do something about it. When David seized his position as king of kings, what did he do? He stepped in when Goliath needed to be defeated. He, he, wa he walked right into that battle. He seized it. He took action and he, and he defeated Goliath. You remember that story. When Rahab, the harlot, saw the opportunity that Israel was moving through and being successful, what, what was her action? She saw it. She had prepared. She, she saw the opportunity to show herself. And then when she came, she asked them to, she hid the spies. And as a result of it, preserved her entire family. Philip, the, 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 uh, in the, in the, uh, Philip, the evangelist in the desert with the Ethiopian eunuch riding along where his way, the spirit of God had sent him. He was already prepared. You know that from Acts chapter six, he, he was already had the right attitude because he was willing to follow what God uh, told him to do. The opportunity showed itself out in the middle of the desert. What was his action? He joined himself to the chariot. You can read these formulas being executed over and over and over again. Here's my question to you before we move into the next part. What are you preparing to do? What, what's, what's your attitude like right now? Do you have a, I, I know I can do this kind of mentality. Do you reflect? Do you remember? Do you rehearse? Do you reinforce what God would have you to do? What opportunities are in front of you right now? What opportunities are you looking for God to provide? Because when you see them, it's time for you to take action. Why? Because preparation plus attitude plus opportunity plus action is what equals you and I becoming. When you see them all laid out, then you will become. You can't change your destiny overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. Now is the time for you to change where it is. Follow the formula to become who God would have you to become and then step into it and let God renovate. Let him change. Let him move you. Get out of a place of stagnancy. There may be some relationships you need to make a, a change on. There may be some financial situations you need to make a change on. Prepare. Have the right attitude. Watch God provide the opportunity and then act accordingly, but don't just sit back and let nothing happen. When God presents it, you step into it, bust the move, do what God would have you to do. Let's pray together. Father, we love you. We thank you. We bless you and we praise you for being our God who's provided so many things for us. Lord, help us as we consider your passages, uh, the, the passage of inspiration. Help us to see how you've laid these things out for us to become. Help us, Lord God, to look at our life and ask those difficult questions. What are we doing to prepare? How are we preparing, Lord God, practically? What are we doing that we need to do better? What are we doing that allows us to providentially see your hand in our life, to, uh, that allows us, Father God, to spiritually renovate the areas that are, are, that are in deficit, Help us, Lord God, to use these things so that our mentality is such where we've got the right attitude about who we are and what you can do. Lord, we want to reflect on your power, reflect on your goodness, and remember, Lord God, that those things reinforce our ability to seize the opportunities when they come. God, we're calling on you to open our eyes and see the places where we need to step in, to see the times where you've laid them out, and to not squander or be poor stewards of chances or occasions for us to do what we need to do. Help us to act. Help us to not be frozen by fear. Help us to not seize those occasions. Help us to not sit back and be stagnant. Help us to not be poor stewards of every moment that you give us. Lord, we want to become who you've called us to be. And we know that we can only do so if we step into it with confidence in who you have made us to be. We love you and we honor you. We look at the pages of inspiration and see you moving in the lives of all of the, the Bible characters and all of our brothers and sisters in scripture before. Help us in this season right now, Lord, where so many need us to step up and be salt and light. So many need us to be a people who can make a difference. Help us to do that in a way where we honor you, we glorify you, and we get you glory even right now. We want to become better for you. We want to become significant for you. We want to become all of who you've crafted us to be for your name's sake and for your glory. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. And in the name of Jesus, we together say amen. Listen, Listen, work the formula, work what God has given us, make the necessary moves to have the right preparation, the right attitude, look for the opportunities, take action and become who God would have you to be. I'm going to pray for you. I'm asking you, please pray for me and let's watch our God change everything around us. God bless you and God keep you. Don't you know it ain't a problem too big for God And I know it ain't no mountain too high I keep my trust in Jesus 
Yeah. Right. 